All right, guys, this has been Madison Cawthorn with my friend Garrett. They took my best friend Beowulf and turned him into a weapon that can defend my home and my family. All right, for those who didn't know, this is Mr. Beowulf. He is a seven-year-old German Shepherd. He's imported from Europe, and he was fully trained by another trainer. But after, you know, some time, basically got a little lazy, started to uh, cheat, not exactly as sharp as he was when he was first trained. And so he came into our program, and our job was to tighten him up. And for a seven-year-old dog, like, he's still bringing it. Really, everyone who's been around him, We've been saying the same thing, like, we love this dog. He's just a really good dog. And we've been had the, the great opportunity to train him, so stay tuned. All right, folks, in this episode, we are going to take Mr. Beowulf, who is a trained service dog and a trained protection dog, bring him back home all the way to the west coast of Florida, where his owner, Mr. Madison Cawthorn, the one and only... Madison. Madison. Madison Cawthorn. Good evening. I'm Madison Cawthorn. At 18 years old, I was in a horrific car accident that's left me paralyzed from the waist down. I was given a 1% chance of surviving. He's going to be reunited with Mr. Beowulf and just tell you, a little bit about Mr. Beowulf and what you're going to see in this episode. You're going to see some bite work. You're going to see some service dog training because Mr. Cawthorn is in a wheelchair and we had to do a lot of training in wheelchairs. I had to go out and buy one to get Mr. Beowulf to heal next to the wheelchair and to be obedient next to the wheelchair and all of that. So in this episode, you're going to see bite work. You're going to see obedience. You're going to see a take home training. You're going to see Mr. Madison Cawthorn. You're going to see Cole get bit to sh by Mr. Beowulf, who bites hard as hell. We're here, and it's no surprise, two beautiful flags flying, a man after my own heart. We got the amazing United States of America flag, for those of you who didn't know. And of course, underneath that, don't tread on me, the Gadsden flag. Always interesting when we do these take-homes, they uh, they can tell sometimes when you pull in the neighborhood, they know where they're at. That motor's up, they're very excited, and so it's our job to uh, transition them back home. This is where some of those bad manners are charged up. Not listening, running around, doing what you want. We've just spent the last five or six weeks tightening them up so he actually listens. Hey, boy, dog. Hey, you're a good boy. Oh, I miss you so much. So the way today's gonna probably work is the first thing we'll probably do is take him on a little uh, walk, tire him out a little bit, show you where his healing's at, because that's one thing we cleaned up a lot. He was forging way ahead. Oh, big time. Now we bring him back. We'll show you how to fix that. Okay. Then we'll do some bite work too, maybe a tire him out a little bit, let him rest. And while he's resting, we're going to kind of give you a recap on how to use the e-collar maybe more effectively than you have been. Copy that. And then you'll be in charge. Well, it should be a good time. All right, let's do it. Now, mind you, I lived in your shoes for a little bit. We got a wheelchair, but I was talking yesterday we were filming. I'm like, how the f do you work a leash and wheel or like, like how do you do this but of course when i have this on my finger now i'm able to to work the wheelchair and keep him tight so what we do is as he's out there and he's around i'm gonna use you as an example i'm supposed to be next to him but instead i'm out here as the dog around then i'll feel the stem ow what the and then i look damn man how'd you get back there you're going backwards man i didn't know you could go backwards so now he instead he positions himself here in case this son of a gun stops i didn't get caught out here slipping so let's let's go forward and then let's see how he does see right away he's too far out front so exactly now you just do exactly that and if anything roll back about a foot or two when you do that do it now Good boy, good spot. We use this tool as a break. I'm excited you want to bite that guy, but I need control work first. His motor, for the most part, stays pretty calm, but not to say he doesn't get a little excited. If he gets a little excited or a lot excited, our break might need to go up to match that. So that's why this is a game of kind of reading where his motor is so that we can make an educated guess on how much break we might need. All right, so this is pretty important for me too. When it comes to, uh, there's three times to really establish a good relationship with your dog. The walk, which we just did. Whose walk is it? It's yours. He needs to pay attention where you're going at all times. Number two, doorways and thresholds. I like a nice sit stay at all doorways, at all times, like 99% of the time. Sits, stay. I don't want him shooting in and out of doorways. It's just, it's just bad manners. Copy that. Stay, for life. He cannot come in until you release him to come in. So he's used to doing it on his own. We'll reset that. Okay. Mind you, it's not the end of the world as long as he's coming in behind you, but I don't want him shooting in front of you. If he wants to plot, take it. Take Good that boy. all day. Now tell him to stay or blithe. Stay. And I don't want what's called predictive behavior. Right. What if you were just coming right back out? Yeah. So I don't want him to think, oh, you go when he, no, no, no. When you're ready, you can say, okay, or recall him. Yeah. There you go. Now he comes away. I'm just telling you how we run things. Of course, you can take what we say and, and shape it to your life. Again, there's three times. The walk, that's your walk. Own it. He, he can do it. We've seen how he's capable. He's extremely capable of healing like a champ. Anything less than that is not his best work. We're going to tighten him up. Doorways and thresholds, that's all I'm asking for a sit stay. You release him when you're ready to release him. And the third one is feeding time. But what we would say is if we're going to give him a whole bowl of food, hey, give me something, man. Give me a sit, give me a down, give me a, a, a stay, go to your place board, 
recall, heal with me, and feed him. For us, he had to earn his meal. Uh, one piece of food, one piece of kibble's a dollar. Bowl of food or a whole pouch of food, 500 bucks. You can get 500 bucks for free. You know, even if you have no time, uh, man, I got no time, uh, down, good job, here. Here's a whole bowl of, oh, I like those downs. This guy's paying me for that. Just try to mix it up every day. All right, I wanna put him on the place board. Before you guys do that, I got yeah. you guys something. This is my favorite liquid on the planet. Made in Kentucky. Uh oh. It's old Pappy Van Winkle. Wait, it's, no yeah, it's the best liquid ever created. Can I take it out of the package? Yeah, man. I've never actually seen a bottle of bourbon. There we go. Well, this is like some secret sauce right here. Dude, this is like the hardest bourbon to get your hands off. Really? Like, yeah. The hardest. Check it out. Can you see it right? That's awesome. You're making me thirsty. Once you drink it, you will not like any other. Really? Any other. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Absolutely. Really man. Yeah. It. Absolutely. Awesome, man. Yeah. I'm excited. Absolutely. You guys are. You guys have done great work. So here's another thing that we have, and I should have uh, always forget to tell people, but you should buy one of these if you can. Copy that. I've got one. You got one just yep. like it? No, I mean, uh, it's like, it's not the same color, but yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do is charge them up on that place board and um, teach them where it is in the house so that we can start to get there no matter where you are. Fail. Bed. There you go. Now we charge it up that when you're on it, you can't come off unless told otherwise. All right. Like you're stuck there like Chuck. Yeah. Right? No, no coming off. Now, if it's an emergency, you recall him. Absolutely. But let's say it's just a pizza guy and you don't need him to scare the pizza guy because you're trying to take the pizza and control the dog. Blah, blah. No, how about just go to your place, man? Now, the best way we like to release him, touch the nose and tell him, Free. Hey folks, if you like what you see so far and you want to get your dog or puppy trained to be the best that they can be, where can they find the best online dog training? DIYK9.com. We'll see you there. Uh, the, like, let's say like I got some of my little cousins. If I sent like my little cousins or my nieces or nephews, send them over and say, hey, go get Beowulf. Can they go over and just touch the nose? And touch the nose and say free. Anybody Sweet. can do it. Now the way we do it is to touch the nose with the back of our hand. Yep. And it's kind of like a, uh, let's say it was the door here. Come on, let's go through the door. Touch yeah. in this way. Dogs are extremely intelligent and base their behavior off of who's around. But we do yeah. that as humans too. Are we in the boardroom? And is the CEO of the company in the boardroom with us? We're acting a certain way. Are we at the bar with our friends from college or whatever? It's the same person, different behaviors. We, and a lot of people at home, very guilty of like Pookie Bear syndrome. Not that you are with him, but Pookie Bear can do no wrong. Pookie Bear doesn't need to do anything. Pookie Bear doesn't have a job to do. You Pookie wanna Bear hear some bull about Pookie Bear? Well, who's, who's the Pookie Bear? See if you can zoom in on my ear right here. I got mauled by a little mutt dog the other day. <laughs> like I went over bear. to their house and you know like, so like the smaller dogs normally don't like wheelchairs. They almost always don't like it. Freaked out by them. Yeah, like like Dalmatian or larger, they love wheelchairs. Like little dogs. I go, went over to a friend's house. I pick up this little puppy and like they're both like freaking out. And I was like, well, here, just give me the little one. And then I held it and it, like, it got calm again. And I was like, well, give me the other one. Grab this dog and this is my friend's wife's dog. As soon as I grab it, just <sighs> like on right ears. on my ear. I start like <laughs> bleeding like a stuck pig. I mean, the wife, who's like a good person. She was like, oh, well, it's okay. Don't don't yell at my dog. Talking to her husband, I was like, your dog just bit somebody. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, Pookie yeah. Bear can do no wrong. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's a Pookie Bear dog. You got it exactly. Pookie Bear syndrome. So anyways, it's hard because if you want to have the best behaved dog, especially a dog of, of his uh, heritage, they live for the work and they live for the structure and the discipline and the obedience. They thrive under a little bit of strong leadership. Maybe we should do some bite work too. Oh, he'll love it. So when I come around the corner, do you want me to be like, you know, acting like I know an attack or do you want me to be like a natural reaction? Like what the f Yes, I want it to be as natural as possible. That's why it's pretty much unscripted. Very unlikely in a situation that happens as quickly as this is gonna happen, that you'll even have the wherewithal to come up with the command for the bite. Now, the reason we bring this up, and this is for the folks at home, we see sometimes police dogs failure to engage on the street. And the reason for that is in training, they're like, go get him, boy. Go get him, boy. Whatever command they might be using. In real life, when you're going after a murder suspect, you're, you know, your adrenaline's through the roof. They're gonna be like, get the and the dogs, if they haven't heard that before, go like, oh my God, are you yelling at them? In yeah. fact, they have heard that before when they messed up and, and, the, and the handler was giving them a hard time. So they're like, oh, I'm gonna bite this guy. Why are you screaming at me? So I want him to be used to that. Like, you're gonna yell, you're gonna scream, almost like you're mad at him, but it has nothing to do with him. All that's directed on me. Hey, hey, what are you doing right there? Hey, fall, get him. Good. So when you're ready, bail, house, go Good. boy. Here. Poose, poose, put him right back there. Poose. Good. Get blout. Keep out. Couple Arf. more barks. Couple Keep more barks. Out. Send Keep out. Keep out. Boom. Yeah. All right. Now, hey, hey, hey. Keep stay coming, right there. Coming. Stay right there. Stay right there. Keep coming. Stay right there. Stay right there. Stay right there. Stay right there. Boom. That's it. Good job. Good. Good, Bayo. Now work them. Out. Good. 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 Good famous Armin Lagan products. Now we gotta hide, because we're bad guys. I'm gonna jack Madison Cawthorn. I'm gonna steal his All right, here we go. Hey, my hey, what the you? 
Good. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good. Good job. Good. Yeah, that's it. That's it. All right, try that O-U-T. Ouch. Good boy. That's good, man. Nice and intense, right? That was great. Now, how about some control work? We got the biting. Control work. Can you get by me without a rebite? I'm gonna come up and see. Hey, even though he just bit me, can I come up and shake your hand? So tell him knee it. bite. No. Nope. Ah. Shake your hand. We'll do that again. We don't have to bite everybody. Hey, what's going on, man? Great scene. Hey, all right, all right. Pleasure. All right. Pleasure. Now, in the next one, I'm going to jack you up. I'm going to come in. I'm going to shake your hand. I'm going to try to steal something from you. Yeah. And then give him that bite command or whatever. Oh, man, it's what's good going to see on, you. Let me get the out. Boy. Ah, good. Ah, good. We're going to wake good. your neighbors up. <laughs> <laughs> good boy. That's a good boy, huh? Out him. Yep. Good boy. Out. Good. Come here. Come here. And send him. Now, phone. Yeah, good yo boy. boy. He's a good boy. He gets it. He got good it. Good job, man. Oh, Whoa. buddy. All right, check it out. That was not there before, so I think that was this last bite. This, this probably has about 20, 30 bites in it. If done correctly, these things hold up. They're wonderful. There's some copycats out there, but if it ain't Arm and Legan, if it's not made by the hands of Steve Sprouse, then it's garbage. This is the best stuff right here, man. All right, guys. It's been Madison Cawthorn with my friend Garrett. They took my best friend Beowulf and turned it into a weapon that can defend my home and my family. So thank you, brother. Thank you so much for the opportunity, and it's just been wonderful. Be is a killer, man. I love this dog. He's wonderful. And uh, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to like, share, subscribe. I've lost my voice from screaming by being bit by Mr. Beowulf. But if you want to see more of this, Madison's already agreed we're going to do a badass podcast. Maybe drive around in his Brabus. And don't forget the membership for the full uncut version if you want to see uh, the full behind the scenes of how we train Mr. Beowulf. All right, see you in the next one.